What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, I was against this Taiwanese clan, a uh, notorious hero. They had lots of wins, you know, very solid looking clan on paper. Uh, I was expecting a, definitely a bit of a fight here. They did their best hop over 96 to 82 of victory for Invicta. Um, you know, the 81% total destruction. They did struggle a touch, but we'll hop over and check what they did because they did manage to get a three star on Mark. Um, missed quite a few of the nines though on the way down, but did have a handful of three stars in there. So they gave it the best. Good for them. And we'll check out what Invicta did. Twos on all of their tens and 11. And missed a one nine, two nines, three nines. <clears throat> so overall, really good job, Invicta. Some really nice replays in here to show. Um, I think I got about six, so I'm just going to hop right in and start checking these out. I really like Beer Me, number 20, stepping up at number eight and hitting like a beast. Beer Me uh, took a bit of a hiatus from One Hive. I believe I believe he broke his hand. Uh, sorry if I'm wrong, Beer Me. I think that's what happened with him. And then uh, I guess what happened was he surgically had a Luke Skywalker hand added in so he could play Clash of Clans uh, directly from his hand on his tablet. Because look at these attacks here. <laughs> Just killing it. So goes ahead, stands in a stone entry at this kind of 4 or 5 o'clock position. He's going to go ahead and open up that wall. Boom, boom, boom. Let's those three golems in. King goes in behind. Gonna send a rage down here and a jump in a set, or sorry, send a jump down here in a second. There goes the jump right over that expo. Lava Hound comes out to play. Does have that double poison there. This must have been a first hit. I'm not 100%. It's so usually you wouldn't bring a double poison against the Lava Hound. Beer Me goes ahead and just saves it. Uh, really smart thinking on that. A lot of people might panic, drop it on the queen or drop it. Just save it, right? Like, watch. I think he drops one here to help with the pups. Yeah, drops one. Um, kind of weird placement on that. Only gets a couple of them in the poison. But no big deal. Does save the other one just in case those skeletons come out. So goes ahead. Queen is down. CC's taken care of. Goes ahead. Sends in the hogs from the 3 o'clock location. First heal goes down. It's kind of how you want to do it, guys, when you're planning your hog raids. You got to think of how the pathing's going to go, right? So this whole section of defense is down. There's only one place for the hogs to go up and around. Well, then you reinforce from this 12 o'clock spot because all your hogs are going to be in this kind of center 12 o'clock location and you want to keep them keep them all meeting up and going around in that circle right huge spring trap there lost for him but he just still has too many hogs and too many heals uh, as you can see that bomb gives him a little bit of trouble but the heal goes down instantly takes care of that there's only a few more defenses remaining this attack was i swear it must have been a two minute or less attack because it is already clean up beer me just killing it i start calling you luke skywalker buddy because I know that hand is mechanical. <laughs> I'm just kidding, clearly, obviously. But beer me. Nice job. Sexy three. <clears throat> All right, one more down. We had Sword here. Uh, Sword's been up in Invicta for a while now from Swarm and has just been killing it. One of our top Town Hall 9s there. Uh, really just brings these amazing attacks. So go ahead, uh, starts his funnel with these minions at the 12 o'clock. Really good patience, waits for that lab to go down, and then boom, here comes the queen, take care of that army cap. Because that lab is down, the very next building she looks at is that, and she's going to step up. Uh, one thing I did have mentioned already, um, since the update, you have to be very, 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 very careful with your queen walks. Three-point defenses. I know that was kind of a rule before the three-point defense thing, but even more so now, because you can see even with the two-point defense, as soon as that arch tower locked on, she started losing health rapidly. So you just have to be, queen walks are still completely viable. You just have to be more careful. You have to be rage ready. You have to be ability ready um, and really know what she is going to be taking on. So goes ahead and sends in the hog, gets the lure, out come the drags and the two loons. Does have the poison, uh, double poison actually, but does not double poison it. Drops the uh, max poison, uh, really knows his queen, knows the queen's gonna, as soon as that arch trial goes down, gonna lock onto that dragon. Boom, boom, boom. The poison itself takes care of the loons without even touching her. Dragon goes down, everything looks great. I think he did mean to have his queen continue to walk around here, because look how close that spell factory is, but love our queen sometimes she just decides to start beating on that wall it ends up working out anyways as you're going to see here in a sec because she actually steps in and takes out the defensive queen herself the king still would have done it um this tesla trap on his entry was giving him a little bit of trouble it was really doing some serious damage to those golems you see they're already both in the red uh king goes in behind and the rage goes down uh, again 
might have even wanted to drop the rage on the queen and healers up here to make sure she deals with it uh, but it all worked out jump goes down king would have walked up there anyways even though the defensive queen's already down so he's just going to go ahead and start sending in hogs at this th uh, six o'clock location only sends three on the wizard tower i thought that was really smart because that's all he needs right the next thing is the mortar not going to do anything sends in a bunch on this location with the tesla first heal goes down really going to help him take care of this really cluster of defenses like if you look like one two three four four five six seven eight there's about a dozen defenses just between i'd say seven and nine o'clock so both heels go down there i thought that was very smart this tesla is still giving him trouble i don't know how the hogs missed the tesla down there um, but they did doesn't really matter wizard tower is going down last defenses remaining are this expo and the arch tower arch tower is dead Expo is about to be dead. Three more hogs converging on it should be just enough to take it down. He's got his queen in there, his full health with the ability and healers on her still. Finally burns up the ability. Kind of finish things off here. It's cleanup time. Nice attack sword. And I think he had six stars this war too. You're just a monster, buddy. I'm sure we'll see you up in 2.0 in no time. <clears throat> All right. What else I have marked down here? Number 12. Burt Dog. I haven't shown one of Bert's attacks in a while. Um, Bert's a master of this max attack. Goes ahead and just goes right in at this 9 o'clock location. He's got a heal, a rage, the four earthquakes. So the earthquakes are going to open up a big, big chunk of this base. Um, gets a huge funnel. I like the minions on the end here that are going to be untouched until they get in the range of that archer tower. But they're getting good value on that. Wizard starts stepping up, kind of helping out. Ends up getting taken out by the cannon, unfortunately. But you can see this huge chunk of bases open. King's going to go in. Nice delay, too, on his king. Like, look, still has not dropped his king. Boom. Finally, the king goes down. Really just wants to get really good uh, value out of his king. All these balloons come out, and that poison goes down. They're really going to just rip those balloons to pieces. They do get a shot off on the golem here. Um but it doesn't matter like look how fast they die i don't know cc troops are almost useless now it's just sad just sad double poison even though you don't take the double poison all the time it's still if you have a double poison you don't have to worry about the cc troops period remember the good old days of the lightning and if you didn't place the lightning exactly perfectly one bolt would miss the cc or miss a couple wizards and then two wizards would be standing on there beating on your golem and it would ruin your raid yeah well that doesn't happen anymore hogs are in do lose a good chunk of them to this uh bacon but he's even got a few more oh sorry tablet's blown up a few more kind of coming in from behind take out that wizard tower really there's this little tesla trap that's uh, giving him uh, his hogs at six a bit of trouble, but he's got this still has this pack in coming in on this expo. Boom, expo goes down. Teslas are about to go down. I like how the Tesla locked onto that wizard. It kind of gave these hogs an extra second just to get in there and take it down. Couple more hits on that cannon, and it's cleanup. Turning on those skellies, but not enough. The skellies survive, but his queen does all the cleanup with these wizards over here. Look at this. Look at how his. <laughs> now, this might have been a problem pre-update because i bet this was one of those raids where without that extra 30 seconds it might not have been a three star um bird dog nice attack not taking anything away from you but this extra 30 seconds these extra spells just just crazy crazy tree stars for bert what else i got here 14 queen cordelia qc very very active and victim member glad to have her part of the team uh, she brings a very sexy kind of shattered lalo here with earthquakes i uh, thought that was really neat uh, nice thing is about this is you can bring the four earthquakes still get an extra haste and still bring your poison so she ends up with four earthquakes three hastes a rage and a poison thought that was absolutely great so earthquakes gonna go down and if you look at the earthquake placement thought it was great gets all three of these air defense open uh, and the queen chamber right so poison goes down help take care of the cc troops queen's gonna go in there and start locking right onto that dragon bam 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 dragon is dead almost instantly balloon is about to go down as well boom down goes the balloon golem gets stuck on the wall here thought that might have been a bit of an issue when i was first watching but it turns out to not really matter the king's in there just doing doing work right these 30 30 heroes are just monsters uh, defensive queen, a few smacks, she is taken care of. This queen kind of takes a bit of a weird walk over to the side here. Ends up locking onto this DE storage. That is not what she wanted to happen here. Uh, but it ends up working out anyways. Those wizards are helping out. The king ends up taking out that air defense. This air defense manages to survive, I believe. 
Um, you can tell there's a bit of a panic moment here because I think she really did want this air defense to go down. Um, but it ends up not matter. At, oh, that's right. The golems finish off the air defense by themselves. The golemite. I think this last golemite, boom, air defense goes down. Amazing patience QC on your lava hounds there. <laughs> I know I've had been in those moments where the troops start going the wrong way from that one air defense you need to go down, and you're like, oh, man. So you just have to delay. You have to wait because if, if it didn't go down, you would have had to send in a lava hound down here and start your deployment a little differently. But it worked out. Nice job, QC. See haste go down all over the place. Really, there's an expo, a wizard tower, a mortar, and that's it. <laughs> you know, mortar's going to go down, and it's cleanup time. Great patience, Cordelia. Just love this attack. You can just see how sometimes if with a good plan, if everything doesn't go to plan, it still turns out to be a three-star. So sexy, sexy. Good job, QC. Couple more here to show you. Down to 17. I like Pants' attack here. Pants had a six-star. Well, a lot of people in this war with a six-star war. I should uh, I'll, hopefully I remember at the end here. I'll uh, quickly show it. But if you see kind of these air defense staggered throughout the core, look at what Pants brings here. A stoned with two witches. That is a huge amount of tanking. And, only, and 19 balloons. No lava hounds, right? So the goal here completely, and the double jump, that's what I like too. So the goal here is to jump everything. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is to jump everything into this first compartment and then jump everything into this next compartment. The queen's going to jump right in there. And hopefully the net gain from this is going to be four air defense and the defensive queen, obviously, with the with the CC. Lava Hound comes out and kind of locks things up for a bit. Uh, but Rage goes down perfect. The queen is just standing right on the edge of that Rage, like just on the edge. Um, the Lava Hound's getting beat down real, real fast. Boom, it's pops. Just got to take care of those pops, and we can get back to business here. The second jump goes down right into the Tesla trap and last remaining air defense. Defensive queen is about to get locked on. That king is taking some damage. The, the town hall locks everything up. But look at the king here with a like sliver of health. Whack on the queen. Whack on the queen. Down she goes. The king does his job. One more air defense remaining. The golems and barbs finish it off. So it's 19 balloons for pants on the outside here. I just thought it was fantastic planning. Everything went exactly how you wanted it to here. Drops the poison to help take care of the pups that are working on that pack of balloons coming in from the 9 o'clock position. But still, so many balloons. Brought 19 balloons just for these outer defenses with no air defense to worry about. So nice, nice job, Pants. Basically clean up. couple more defenses to go. Boom. Good little split on your balloons. Clean up wizards on the outside. Uh, no heroes to help clean up here, but... One, two, three wizards and really good split on the balloons and even a goblin out there running around. Still a pup alive there too, I didn't notice. But pants, tree stars, nice job. All right, and I want to show one right from the bottom. Uh, newer Evicta member. Uh, what was it? 33. Again, nice seeing these huge 35-man wars. Really liking it, guys. <clears throat> so this a uh, little bit more of a base you're probably accustomed to seeing in your uh, normal, you know, Town Hall 9 farming wars. Uh, but King just goes in here like a boss, brings seven Valks, which I thought was interesting with the only the one jump. Now, uh, my, myself, I don't think I would opt for that because there's not a heck of a lot you can get access to for the Valks, but they are level seven walls and seven max Valks are basically going to one shot any of those walls so he, as long as he gets them in like see this little core part he gets them into as long as he gets them in there when they get to these walls on the outer edge they're gonna one shot them and continue on so um does actually get amazingly good push they get sucked right onto that queen two shot her basically you're gonna walk right into these teslas two shot the teslas bam 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 teslas are down hogs are already in from this nine o'clock position um kind of sweeping down like a three finger drop almost uh first heel goes down the second heel is going to go down in one moment boom bomb gets him but it doesn't matter that heel is still there <laughs> even manages to get a couple hogs in there to trigger that other one uh, only loses i believe one hog to those two bombs there tesla goes down one more Tesla, Wiz Tower, you know, a couple cannons, still has a heal left in the bag. King just killed it. Look at the queen on the outside, still has a giant few archers, two swag poisons, didn't even need poisons on this raid. Boom, sends in the giant to kind of do tanking too. 
just thought it was a beautiful raid. Two Valks in there doing cleanup. The Hound never bursts. I thought that was really cool too. King just murdered this base with the double swag poison. Who needs donated spells when you get an extra 30 seconds and just CC troops being useless? <laughs> All right. So nice job, guys. Really great war for Invicta. Love these huge wars. Gives me a huge amount of replays to be able to show. Um, just just good job. Hats off, guys. Um, I am going to call it an afternoon here, though. I was going to not do this recap until tonight, but I managed to squeak it in before I had to get ready for work. Like I had mentioned in my last recap, uh, I was a little behind. I had these back-to-back -back ones to do. So glad to have them done. Glad to have this content out to you because Invicta is really just killing it. Uh, can't edify them anymore. You know, they are just beasts down there and uh, it's only a matter of time before we really start filling up 2.0 to the max and having constant 40 man plus wars because um you know you can't hold these invicta guys back for very much longer they're just all too good every single one of them so nice job guys great war love to see it uh gonna call it here that does it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next three star and until then i'm out